someone happened to leave a lovely little pillow down here for me, so I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, my reverse plank here um, using this platform. So basically when you're doing a reverse plank, um, the more parallel to the ground that you are, the uh, more resistance that you're going to have in that particular movement, um, which is not a movement, it's a plank, you don't, you don't really move. So you're going to hold this for about a minute, um, and there are definitely ways to progress this. So basically, um, and by the way, you don't have to put your shoulders up. This, this is one way of doing it. So one, another way of doing it, right, is to put my feet up, my hands down on the ground, look behind me a little bit and tuck in and hold. And I'm trying to keep my glutes tight, trying to maintain that straight line, right? So it's going to work on, on your uh, posterior uh, core muscles, right? So the other way that you can do it, and again, this way uh, helps you get more parallel to the ground. Like you could you could be here, right? I like to go this way though, right? I'm gonna put my shoulders up on this and then I'm gonna hold here, right? Okay? And one of the ways that I tend to teach this is I'm actually going to use a physio ball like that. It's here so why not I use it, right? And I can come down into this position on the physio ball. And now I've got that uh, stabilization aspect which is being hampered by my nuts right now, but that's alright. So if I wanted to progress this, right, I could go and just do the little heel taps, which we'll be doing in the program here soon, or I can hold light dumbbells, right? We don't want to go heavy. This is actually a little bit heavy right now. This is uh, about 12 pounds probably. I usually do about, uh, I guess I go up to 12 pounds with my clients sometimes, but usually I'll start them off with like seven and a half, because really all I'm doing is I'm making them fight counter rotation, um, while they are moving that weight side to side or moving their leg um, because that's one of the key, key things that your core does is not just um, hold you in a position or cause you to move, but it also prevents movement, right? And so we're strengthening that, uh, that system for anti-rotation, which is going to help with uh, general core stability quite a bit, all right?